Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking all things Pilates. Okay, so part of me can hardly even believe that I'm filming this video right now. Getting into a Pilates routine or just starting Pilates in general was something that I had on my vision board for like probably in my brain this was like 10 years from now. Like I was gonna be the Pilates girl and it was gonna be a part of my life and I was gonna wake up and put on my Lulu's and go to Pilates. Like that was like something that I had on my vision board for future. Never did I think I was gonna be here at this stage of my life actually doing it. And that's why why I wanted to film this video. So I want to get on camera and share with you guys that I have been officially actively attending a Pilates class for three months. So this is gonna be my three month Pilates update. Can't even believe we've made it three months. I can't even believe I even decided to start getting into Pilates, but now that I'm here, I am so, so glad that I did. And I'm gonna give you guys a full update as to kind of my journey getting to this point and what it's kind of looked like over the last three months as far as how I felt, how I've adjusted, all of those things. So really, really quick I just want to give everybody a quick update here if you are new on my channel welcome I would love to have you be a part of our little healthy community here I want to let you guys know that I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's health journey series originally going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5 and one plan I have since transitioned over to my Optavia 4 2 and one plan and I'll get into the specifics on that obviously later on in this video but the main reason why I've done that is because I wanted to start incorporating more activity into my day specifically reformer Pilates okay for the record is it Pilates reformer or reformer Pilates? I will never understand and I've been doing it for three months now and I still have no idea. But if you are new here, please be a part of our little healthy community here. I can't wait to welcome you to the family and welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> just a little bit and kind of talk about why we even got into this. So like I said, I'm actively documenting my Optavia 4, 2, and 1 plan. I, like almost everybody else, started originally on my 5 and 1. If you're looking into getting started on your 5 and 1 or you're just looking into Optavia as a whole, go watch some of my previous videos. I've got tons of videos of how I started and how we even got to this point. But now that I'm in this stage of my life, this stage of my journey, I've really, really gotten to the point where I want to start feeling strong. I want to start feeling capable in my own body. And one of the biggest things that I, like I said, had on my vision board forever in order to do that was going to be getting into Pilates. And I know, I think most of you probably know, have you heard the term a Pilates body? I'm just saying the women that are rocking a Pilates body, like they are goals. Okay. I'm just saying they are toned what seems like head to toe. And you can tell because Pilates is like an all encompassing full body workout. It is working everything all the time. It is definitely not easy, especially if you're getting started in the beginning. And it is a little intimidating when you're getting into it. But that was really the thing that I was excited to start doing is I wanted to start feeling strong and capable from head to toe. And I wanted to feel like I could really could take on anything. And I really thought that Pilates was going to be the way for me to do that. So I transitioned from my Optavia 5-in-1 over to my Optavia 4-2-in-1. 5-in-1 is just a little too much of a caloric deficit for the type of exercise that I was trying to put into my life. I switched over to the 4-2-in-1 because it's a little bit more food, a little bit higher calorie, the right kinds of calories, and it's going to keep me fueled throughout my day, whether I'm doing a little extra walking or I'm doing a Pilates workout or I'm doing any sort of extra activity, the 4 2 and one was the right fuel plan for me. And in doing that, I also had the expectation. I went into this knowing that I'm not doing this for weight loss right now. I'm doing this so that I can feel strong and I can feel capable doing what I know my body is meant to do. And if you're looking for strictly weight loss, if you're looking for the most rapid weight loss, that's definitely going to be an opt to be a 5 and one plan. That's why we recommend keeping exercise a little bit more minimized during that plan because you're in such a low caloric deficit. But with this plan, because there's a little extra calories, you can use them, if you know what I mean. So that's what I've been doing for the last three months. And one of the big things that I really wanted to start doing was Pilates. And I got to tell you guys, I was intimidated. Okay. This was like something that I was really, really scared to get involved in because number one, I didn't feel like it was something I would be able to pick up very easily. I mean, those girls have been doing it for a while, or at least it seems like they have, and it is a class atmosphere. So there's going to be several other people in there. And you kind of feel like if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to look really dumb. And I felt like the other big kind of looming aspect over this whole thing was just the fact that like I'm not some skinny mini Pilates girl you guys like the majority of the girls that are in the classes are and I am not at that stage of my journey I'm at the stage where I'm toning up I've lost a majority of my weight but I still have a little weight to go I'm just here to start healing my relationship with food and going into a Pilates class full of gals that are all in super great shape and all have gone super far on their fitness journey I felt a little intimidated I felt very nervous I felt like what am I even doing here should I even be in this class but 
I gotta tell you guys, I am so glad I finally bit the bullet and I just went for it. And that is really the thing that I want you to take away from this video. I was scared. I was intimidated. It was not something that I felt comfortable doing, but thank God I did. We can do hard things, you guys. You just gotta get out of our own head and get into the right mindset for growth. And that's exactly what I decided to do with getting into Pilates. So here's kind of what happened. I decided I wanted to start getting into Pilates, but I had no idea where I was gonna go. I had just recently moved to Nashville, Tennessee. If you guys are new to my channel, you may not know that my partner Zach and I are officially documenting what's called Adventures from A to Z, where we've been traveling the country for about a year and a half now. We left Denver, Colorado. We literally donated and sold everything we owned. We left Denver, Colorado about a year and a half ago and have been traveling from Airbnb to Airbnb a few months at a time, just kind of trying out where we want to live and seeing what fits. We've hit several stops to date, but we are officially here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I knew I wanted to start getting into Pilates, but I had no idea what were the Pilates studios around here, nor was I prepared to start looking for one and completely commit to a membership. I didn't even know if this was going to stick you guys. I had no idea if this was even going to be for me. So I wanted to kind of test the waters and feel it out. So the best way that I can recommend you do that if you're in the same situation is take the route that I did. I downloaded what's called ClassPass. It's an app, an online membership that you can use to literally find classes or several different services just around town. They've got obviously classes in yoga, Pilates, bar, cardio, personal training, things like that that are all fitness related, but they've also got several services that are going to be along the lines of like facials, nails, waxing, things like that. I've actually used a couple of those services as well. And when I downloaded class pass you do have a free trial where they're gonna grant you a certain amount of free credits so that you can start trying out the app start trying out certain services and then if you like it you can sign up for a monthly membership which is gonna allow you a certain amount of credits to use per month based on the service or class that you're looking to get into and that was perfect for me because I got to tell you you guys my first Pilates experience wasn't my best and I got to tell you it was definitely worth it to get it out there and kind of get my feet wet but I knew that I still hadn't found my perfect fit so just to backtrack, all I will say is if you're looking to just get started in some sort of a Pilates realm and you have no idea where to go or what you want to do, download ClassPass. I actually have a code where you can get some money off if you want to try it out. I'll leave it down in my description box if you guys want to try out ClassPass. Highly recommend. It's definitely worked for me. But this is the kind of part of it that I was kind of expecting and the reason why I'm so glad I tried ClassPass. So when I went on the app, I looked into the different Pilates studios that were around the area. I found one Pilates studio that was in the center heart of Nashville and it seemed to have really great reviews. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this Pilates studio or anything wrong with the instructor. I just was a complete newbie. And I gotta tell you, you guys, I was so freaking intimidated and going into that class, it felt like literally every single girl in this class had been doing Pilates for like 10 plus years years and it was just a little too fast paced for me. It was a little too much too fast, but that's okay. I knew going into it, I wasn't gonna be completely prepared. I did get a little bit of judgment or maybe this is in my head, but I felt a little bit of judgment. I definitely didn't look like all the other girls there and I definitely was not up to par with their level of Pilates that they were at, but I still got it done and I knew it was still a matter of time for me to be able to find the right studio for me. Maybe that wasn't the perfect fit, but that's what's great about ClassPass. There's always another one you can try. So that's exactly what I did. I did my first Pilates Pilates class. It was rough. Oh my God. I almost fainted afterwards. I could not believe the amount of energy that I had to put into that class. This was also my first class. So I was a little intimidated and my anxiety was like up to here. And so after that first class, I basically realized that I really needed to number one, make sure that I formed my food schedule to fit perfectly right before and right after my Pilates class. And I knew I also needed to get the right amount of sleep. I knew I needed to get the right amount of water. And I knew I needed to prepare for this kind of class if it was coming up in my day, because it was was going to be a transition. I was not prepared for the amount of energy that I was going to be putting out, the amount of different kinds of muscles that I didn't even realize existed in my body that I was going to be working out. And that's why getting into that first class, I knew was going to be a feat. I knew it was going to be a little bit rough, but that's why I made sure I was prepared. I brought Zach along with me just in case I wasn't able to drive home afterwards. I just wanted to make sure that I was safe and prepared as much as possible so that I could kind of look at what this was going to be like moving forward. So that first class was very intimidating. I still think the studio was great. I think the instructor was great. I just don't think it was the right fit for me. And that's another thing I'm going to touch on in this video. But afterwards, I went to another studio. I went through the app. I found another studio that was in the area that also had really high ratings, actually has been around the Nashville area for years now. And so many people still go there on a regular basis that I wanted to give it a try. And since then, 
Thank God I did. And I will tell you the biggest and best part about this experience at the second studio that I tried was number one, I felt like I connected with the instructor right off the bat. Right when I got there, we talked about how I've only done one other Pilates class in my life and it was kind of traumatizing and I'm really trying to figure out how I can make this a part of my routine. I'm really intimidated, I'm really scared, but I am willing to grow and willing to learn if you're willing to take me on. This was a Pilates class that was technically all levels, but that also means the majority of the people that are booking it regularly are on the higher end of that spectrum of the level. So I needed to make sure that I had told the instructor where I'm at with my personal Pilates journey and how she can make sure that I have modifications if needed and she's aware of how I'm gonna plan to grow throughout this process. Now I will tell you there are several Pilates instructors available at that studio as well as several studios around the US that will do private Pilates instruction if you wanna do that, if you're feeling like the class atmosphere isn't for you. But as long as you're willing to put your best effort forward and really grow into what that class has to offer, I personally think staying in that class atmosphere is really gonna be the best for your journey. It's been the best for me and it's because I got into the class, the instructor was super, super supportive of where I was at in my current journey, but also everyone in the class was supportive too. There was a little bit of intimidation getting in because I felt like, oh, if they have to modify any of my moves or if they have to do anything differently for me, if I hold them up, I don't wanna hold them up in the class, like anything like that. I was just so worried that I was gonna inconvenience them and take away from their class experience, but the entire group was super, super supportive. And honestly, everybody was telling me, great job, you did so good. I'm so glad to meet you, can't wait to see you at the next one. That class atmosphere was what I really was looking for in this journey and I was so, so glad I found it. It just took a couple tries, right? If I had just decided, oh, Pilates isn't for me after that first experience, I would have never picked it up again and would have just left it forever and that dream would have died. Okay, I decided I just didn't find the right studio. I'm gonna find the right one next and we're gonna go for it until we find the right one. I luckily found the right studio on my second try. I found the right instructor and I found the right people to do it with. And I have since been attending that studio for officially three months of my Pilates journey. And I gotta tell you, you guys, that was scary, but it was so, so worth it. So in this three month span, I initially started out with just attending one Pilates class a week. And that was kind of enough for me. I was like, oh my gosh, I am so tired afterwards I'm so drained I feel like I'm so hungry like I got to make sure that I'm eating enough food before and afterwards so that I'm getting the right amount of calories and I can really sustain this energy throughout the day I was also choosing to go to the classes that were happening at 7 in the morning and that on its own was a feat like getting up at that time in the morning I was not prepared for and it's not like I had to go at the 7 a.m. class but I knew that those were the girls that really supported me in that first class and I wanted to make sure I could stick with them they were gonna be supportive of my progress and I was gonna be supportive of theirs so I showed up at 7 that's when when the girls were there and that's when I was gonna be there too. Getting into this routine, it was not fun. Getting out of bed at 5.30 in the morning to get ready for Pilates and be there by seven. I'm just saying that was rough, but I knew by the end of the Pilates class, I was gonna feel so much better, feel so much more proud of myself, feel so much more accomplished, and that's what I was doing it for. That feeling of after Pilates motivated me to get out of bed at 5.30 in the morning and make it happen. I'm just saying that's the key, is making sure you're placing these accountability pieces in your life to to not only go for it, but stick with it. And that's what I did. So we started off with once a week. I believe I did once a week classes for at least the first like month and a half. I believe that's how long it took me to really make the jump to two classes a week. Because for me, I was so tired. I felt like I was still really getting my feet wet. And I also felt like every time I went to the class, it was just still as hard as it was the time before. And I was like, gosh, I feel like I'm not making any progress. What's going on? And then when I talked to the girls that were in the class, they were saying, really, I think you should consider coming twice a week. And I was like, <gasps> what? Like, there's no way. And they were saying, it's because if you go a full week in between these classes, you start to lose momentum. You lose a lot of the strength that you've just worked on gaining. And it's almost like you're starting over when you come back once a week. And I was like, <gasps> that's gotta be what it is. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm starting over every time I come back. So believe it or not, it actually got easier for me to continue my Pilates classes by upping them to twice a week instead of once a week. When I went, when I started going twice a week, I started really noticing a difference in my core strength. I started noticing that my soreness was pretty relatively there every single time, but it started to get a little easier to tolerate. My inner thigh muscles, oh my God, those gotta be rock solid at this point because that is the muscle that we focus on the most but upping my Pilates classes to twice a week I gotta tell you guys that was the game changer for me and now that we're here and now that I'm loving two times a week Pilates guess what we're thinking should I go three times 
I'm just saying, that's literally a thought that's going through my brain right now. I am considering upping my class times to three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Because if I really wanna start seeing results and if I really am committed to this, upping my times is just gonna keep the momentum flowing and that's what I need. Now, really quick, can we just have a perspective shift on this? I was scared to death to start Pilates and now I'm sitting here three months later telling you that I'm considering going three times a week because I feel so much stronger and so much more confident in my abilities and I wanna shoot for what I know my body can do so I'm gonna go three times a week. Who even am I, okay? I just gotta say, you are so much more capable than you give yourself credit for. I was so scared to do this. I had so much intimidation. I really didn't think that this was gonna be something that stuck but because I stuck with it, it got easier because I found the class of supportive gals and guys that wanted to see me grow, that were okay with taking a little bit longer if I needed to modify a move, that were okay with me growing with them and being a part of their class every time they came. I mean, I was the newbie, but now we're at the point where if I miss a class, because there was actually one class I missed when we went out of town to Oregon, when I came back, they all said, where were you, right? I've got a community of gals and guys around me now that are not only supporting me where I'm at in my journey now, but they're like, hey, where were you? How come you weren't here? They're holding me accountable. And that, you guys, is irreplaceable. Those gals and guys now know who I am and they're now holding me accountable to come to the next class because they know that I said I have some goals and they wanna see me achieve them. And that is truly the community that you wanna look for when you're getting started in a fitness journey. You don't want people that are gonna make you feel intimidated, who you feel like you're being judged by. You want people that make you feel like you can grow. And that's exactly what I feel like I've found in the studio that I'm working with now. So, really all that I wanna make sure that you guys get out of this video is just getting out of your own way. I am here to tell you that I'm three months into this Pilates journey, fully originally thinking that this was gonna be probably five to 10 years out in my life. And I fully know that as I look in that mirror and I'm in the Pilates room, I don't look like all of the other girls. I'm not the skinny mini. I don't have the Pilates body yet, but I do know that I'm chipping away at that every single time that I go. I do know now that I am capable of doing hard things that were originally super scary or intimidating to me, but I am capable now. The amount of core strength that I have now. The amount of confidence that I have on the reformer is incredible to me. That is a lot of trust, you guys, in that reformer and as well as in your instructor to trust that you're not gonna fall off the dang thing. I'm just saying, it is a level of confidence that shows you that if you can do this, I wonder if you could do that. I wonder if you could do that thing. I wonder if you could go out there and try that. You've always talked about doing this, maybe you could try this, right? There's so many ways that we can really get out of our own way when it comes to a fitness journey, and I am not the perfect Pilates body right now, but I am damn sure gonna get there. I'm working on it every single time I go, and all I'm letting you know today in this video is if you're in your own way right now, please get out. Move forward in one way, shape, or form. Maybe that's downloading the ClassPass app. Maybe that's picking a Pilates studio and doing a trial class. Maybe that's getting in touch with a personal trainer and just seeing if that's the route for you. There's so many different ways you can go about starting a fitness journey, but you just have to believe that you are stronger and more capable than you think. And even if something gets in your way, like maybe the first class wasn't the perfect class for you, there's still another one out there that might be the right fit. And that is what I have to let you guys know. I've got a group full of guys and gals that not only want to see me grow, but they are holding me accountable to coming every single week. So now not only do I get up at 5.30 in the morning, but I'm getting up now what's going to be three three times a week to show up for not only my goals, but for the team that's counting on me. That is how you place accountability blocks in your life so that even on the days that you don't feel like showing up, you have to because your goals don't care. Your goals don't care what you have to say at 5.30 in the morning. They're just saying show up. You said you were gonna do this, show up right? That is all I have for you guys today. This is my three month update of my Pilates journey and I am so excited to see what comes of this. If you guys liked this video and you want to see maybe a six month update or a year long update, oh my gosh, can we believe we're saying that? I'm just saying this fitness and health journey is never going to be what you think it's going to look like, but your health and fitness is like the laundry. It is never done and all you can do is keep putting one foot in front of the other, keep making strides and keep proving to yourself that you are capable and you are worth it. That's what I've done and I'm going to keep doing it every single day. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Take that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week. I cannot wait to continue this healthy journey with you. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.